think of the letter F. Now think of a social media app slash website that starts with the letter F. Go ahead, I'll give you a minute. Facebook, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm your host, Shamar Crossfield, and welcome to Brain Games. Anyways, I'm not sure where I was going with that, so I'll leave with this. Facebook owns one of their top competitors, Instagram. But Instagram wasn't always the IG that it is today. <laughs> It went through some massive changes and app developments to get to the place where it is today and gain the popularity and influence that it has now. So in this video we're just going to be taking a look at how Instagram started and where it started from and in other words, the then and the now. Now before Instagram could become Instagram, it started out as Bourbon, a photo sharing app. Bourbon was worked on by Kevin Sistrom and Mike Krager, who were both Stanford University graduates. I'm pretty sure I butchered their names a while ago. Kevin actually didn't have formal training in computer science, but over time, uh, while he was working at a technology company called Nextstop, which by the way, Facebook acquired in 2010, he picked up on some coding in his spare time and began to work on Bourbon. Bourbon received investments and would continue to become uh, molded down to a simpler concept. Post, like, comment which was inspired by the social context of Facebook, and that there was genius. They later renamed the app to what it is known as today by combining the words instant and telegram and putting them together to create. That's right. They had about two months of beta testing, and on October 6, 2010, they released Instagram to the public. And pretty much gained instant popularity with 25,000 users on that same day. By the end of the week, 100,000 users. And by the end of the year, 1 million total downloads. And you guys may or may not know this, but before Facebook actually acquired Instagram in 2012 for $1 billion, Twitter actually made a proposal to acquire Instagram for $500 million. Instagram now has over 1 billion users and Twitter, which was established in 2006, staggers at 330 million. <laughs> Say what you will about that, you know. <laughs> so now Instagram is riding the success wave and in 2016, the app took a whole redesign. Still keeping its minimalistic nature, but just way better. The user interface essentially became way more user friendly. By the way, if you guys have been on Instagram before the redesign, then type OGIG in the comments below. <laughs> I, I'd love to see how many people actually were on the app before the redesign. I for one was on Instagram after the redesign. Instagram suite of apps that is Layout, Hyperlapse, and Boomerang also received redesigns as well. Now the artist behind Instagram's new icon actually came out and said that the colors are actually a reflection of the rainbows that were on the original app icon. Now that may not be very obvious at first, but it's clear to see his intentions and where he's coming from. So with this redesign now, Instagram began gaining more and more popularity and more and more attention. And while gaining more attention, it wanted to implement new, more features that would attract even more people. But the question was this. What? Oh, no, no. Joe, we need something now. Something, something new, something fresh, something never seen before. Hello? Joe? Joe? Oh, oh sorry, sir, sorry. It's, it's this new app called Snapchat. I mean, these stories are just so much fun. Stories? You mean like, like on Wattpad or the, at, at the library down the street? Oh, no, sir, no. Stories as in people posting updates throughout their day and I can watch them. Why would you want to watch that? I don't know. 
They're just simple and interesting for some reason. Simple! Ooh. That's what we are. Hmm. Buy it from them. I need, I mean, we, we need more money. Sir, they don't want to sell it to us. They said something about them wanting to be independent and unique. Uh, hmm. Well, f that. They have rights on it? Hmm. Let me check. Nope. We'll steal it. And just like that, in 2016, Instagram added stories to their app. Now users could have an extended way of keeping up with their friends and having conversation starters by replying to their stories in their DMs. It was a pretty simple concept. Take a picture or a video and put it up on your story and after 24 hours, it'll disappear. And of course, you could customize it by adding uh, drawings, stickers, text, uh, emojis, etc, etc to the stories to make it even more appealing and more exciting to watch. They later developed some other features to the stories such as the ability to add links to the stories, the ability for uh, users to mention um, other users on their stories, add polls, questions, countdowns, etc, etc, etc. So you can see that now Instagram has kind of unlocked a formula that you would think is set in stone and that no one could even disrupt. However, Instagram would later add a more controversial feature to its uh, app, and that is IGTV. IGTV came about in mid-2018, and it had a pretty simple concept as well. Well, no. Basic concept and leading marketing uh, pitch was that users could now upload a video longer than one minute, to their profiles which they previously couldn't do in a single post but now they could do it in a single post and what's more is that the post would have to be vertical so they were now uh, glorifying vertical video as opposed to YouTube which was a potential competitor of theirs which glorifies more so horizontal video which is pretty much a standard long story short Instagram had vertical video, YouTube had uh, horizontal video, they were potential competitors. Of course, YouTube had already had an established stance and presence. So IGTV really underperformed to their expectations. And then just earlier this year in 2020, in January 2020, they removed uh, IGTV from the app. But you can, it's still here, you know, it's still there on the app, but you don't see the IGTV icon on your home screen anymore. So now you can actually still upload videos longer than one minute and they'll still be on your profile, but no, you just won't be able to necessarily browse through IGTV videos unless you're watching a video directly from someone's profile. Which, by the way, I'm sure that none of us are really missing it, IGTV. Uh, I'm, I don't know how many of us actually really clicked on that IGTV button to swipe through IGTV. But that's probably just me. And there you have it, Instagram, the then and the now. The app that we've all come to know and love and even if you don't love it, it's here to stay. It and it's over one billion users. So thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate every single uh, like, every single view, every single comment that I get and of course every single subscriber. So guys continue to support the channel and yeah so that'll be it for today shama crossfield think of i